why is forgiveness so important when we are in this process of manifestation? Why is that such a critical piece of the puzzle? What I don't think a lot of us realize is the act of forgiveness is not just what we think of, right? That we are like, okay, well, I forgive you. You know, I'm not holding on to it. That's a whole huge part of it. But what forgiveness also does is it allows us to give. It allows us to release this energy that has thus far been holding us back or has been affecting us negatively. And until we can release a lot of these energies and release this kind of energetic force field that's rolling around inside of our being, we can't accept anything new in. Like if you're full of fear, you can't accept love. If you're full of doubt, you can't accept in like surety, right? Self-assurance. If you're full of spirit, a spirit of lack or an energy of lack, you can't accept the energy of abundance in. And so I believe that the reason why this is so important, and I've seen it operate in my own life, when I get upset with someone or if I'm in a, a situation that it's really taxing and trying and it's, and it's really taking up a lot of my energy, especially in a low vibrational way, then when, as I'm trying, as I'm manifesting and creating, I'm not as effective in creation as I probably would normally be. Why? Because I am full of this other energy. So nothing else can come in. Hey, my name is Dr. Lisa and I am a doctor of metaphysics and divinity. So I cannot (laughs) write you a prescription, but I can recommend a good crystal. Um, Welcome to day 42 of Manifest Your Best Life in 88 Days. So I want you to leave some comments down below of some areas like, have you found this to be true or did you you know, recognize this then? Like, are there things that you've just not been able to forgive in your life and you now recognize that that's become an impediment, an obstacle to you actually manifesting your best life? This is why forgiveness is so important. This is also why I have you go through that process that we went through on day 41 and this concept of, okay, we're going to forgive the other person, but we still need to forgive ourselves. We still need to release things from ourselves in order for us to be able to accept new energy in. If you're always operating in low vibrational energies, you, it, it, you, your resonance is this is down here. It's not up here. So it's going to be much more difficult, right, for you to raise it up. Why? Because it's like you've got an anchor. It's like you've got something that's like weighing you down. And that's the low vibrational energy. I want you to think of it this way. Um, everything is energy, right? So there's atoms moving all around. There's all sorts of stuff happening all the time, right? So, but solids, so like this huge, I love this coffee mug, by the way. Oh my God, it can make so much chai tea in it. Anyway, so this coffee mug though is a solid. If you could see within it at a microscopic or subatomic level, do you know what you'd find out? That there's atoms still moving in here. There's atoms and subatomic particles. It's, this is literally in motion. It's just so dense And the atoms are moving so slowly at such a low frequency, at such a low vibration, that it appears to us to be solid. That's the same way as it is with you. Everything within you is constantly in motion. Okay? Now, when we're talking about your auric field or your energetic field, that is what you use in order to... Um, you know, create things and manifest things and do things, right? In order for you to use that, that, that energy, that auric field, that auric field for creation needs to be resonating when you high vibrational things needs to be resonating here. You're still getting the low vibrational fruit of the low vibrational labor because you've not released this dense energy 
That's what I actually call shadow work. I call it dense energy. So we are literally taking this lower vibrational field that's so densely packed, right? I'm sure when you were doing the exercises, um, I'm sure that whatever it was that you needed to forgive or release, I'm sure it was pretty dense. I'm sure it was probably dark. I'm sure, or it may have been gray. Who knows? But I'm sure it was kind of dense. It wasn't like light and fluffy and airy. This wasn't like you got the impression like an angel gave it to you, right? So it was dense energy. That was weighing you down, right? When we get depressed, well, depressed, we are, something is pressing us down, okay? When depression or depressive feelings, something is pressing us down. Now, we could talk about it being life, is lifing. We can talk about it being a hormonal reaction or anything like that. But I'm just talking energetically. I'm not talking clinically, energetically. We're getting pushed down. And when, when we work on these things, when we work on releasing trauma, when we work on releasing fear, when we work on releasing lack, when we work on releasing worry, when, we, right, when we're doing these things, you begin to feel what lighter. Why? Because that energy, that dense energy has been released. Now, what I like to say is we're going to take this dense energy, we're going to release it. But in essence, we're transmuting it or changing it over into light. You're letting love come in. And in this wound in your heart where you've been hurt so many times, now instead of that wound, let's say it's a narcissistic wound. Now, instead of that wound being prevalent and you attracting more narcissists and attracting more narcissistic energy into your life. Now this is filled with love Empathy, most importantly, empathy for yourself. So now you can place self first, okay? Place self first, love self, so you're not seeking that love from other people. You're not seeking to be codependent. You're not seeking, right, this other energy, this other side to things that really is kind of, it's not good, right? It's, it's going to keep you down. And keep you focused on those things that make you sad or focus on weakness or you're always trying to solve somebody else's problem and not you're not ever like really dealing with your own needs, wants and desires. So that's why we release things Then we transmute it. Now we become empowered. We recognize what that feeling is, what that feeling was. But the reason why we release it also, we thank it for helping us and then we release it. We acknowledge what it was really doing for us. And then we release that need for that. Now we can accept good energy, high vibrational energy in. Now we can change and transmute that energy because it's neither destroyed nor created. We can transmute the vibration within us, within our very being, and raise it up to another octave. So now we're vibrating at this frequency. Does that make sense? Could you guys leave me some comments down? That'd be amazing. Let me know how this is going. Let me know if this like, you know, kind of was like, oh, wow, this is an aha moment. And let me know some of the ways and some of the weights that have been lifted off of you. Okay. All right, guys. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. And never forget to give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.